this art show in particular, I'm looking at all of our art right now, um, is our first year to have really quality three-dimensional work. We've been really strong with our two-dimensional work, but our three-dimensional this year has really stepped up. We have sound suits that sculpture students created by Nick Cave. Um, it's actually wearable art. It's the first time we've ever done wearable art. Um, we also have pinatas downstairs that are independent study students designed. They are, it's a class specifically for seniors. They design the project themselves. I ask them, what do you want to do for the semester? We brainstorm a bunch of different ideas, and their idea was to create a pinata that people can interact with, and they would fill it with um, their thoughts around a question that they asked. So, for example, like one of them was a Donald Trump head, and they wanted people to fill Donald Trump's head with their opinions, and so they just asked their opinions. Um, one was about the Zika virus and how um, it spread fear, and so they created this giant mosquito, and they wanted people to put their fears on a piece of paper and place it in the mosquito. And so it was the first time that we really dealt with political social issues in our artwork, um, and also that our students were driving the content of what we were doing as opposed to just the teachers creating the ideas. But, but can you tell me about... What's it, what it feels like to be part of a program that you've been in on almost the ground floor and seen the growth of the program? Yeah. Um, yeah, when we first started, it was myself and another teacher, and we just taught general art classes. They weren't specialized yet. We didn't have things like just printmaking, just ceramics, that kind of thing. So students got a breadth of all the arts, and we weren't able to really focus on one area. It's like we touched on ceramics and then we touched on printmaking, but the kids never really got to really dive into it and really learn all the technique and all of that. And so as we've grown and as we've hired new staff that are specialized in areas, it's like we've gotten a stronger knowledge base on our team and we can get more detailed in the way that we teach. And so it's been exciting to see. I think it reflects in our student artwork. You can see how our students have gotten stronger because we have teachers like Ms. DeWeese who are strong in photography and teachers like Ms. Munguia who know graphic design in and out. And so our students are able to gain more from those experiences. I see a lot of graphic design up on the walls here today. I understand that's a, that's a way not to only have art but to, but to get a job doing it. Oh, or... definitely. And that's the exciting part, especially with our photography and our graphic design programs. Nowadays, the digital side of art is so relevant and so big, and so it's exciting to get to teach our students those skills and also provide, like we, next year we'll be providing graphic design production studio where students will collaborate with businesses outside of our school to actually redesign, create logos, create marketing for them so they can understand what um, it's like to be a professional artist. But whether or not they go into art as a profession... What, you have graduating seniors this year. What, what do you what do you think of when you think of these graduating seniors who now have all this training in, in visual arts? Oh my goodness! Um, I know so many of our seniors that love art, but I know that they're not going to continue doing it necessarily as their major in college. But I'm thinking of students in particular that are moving into science in their college career. But the fact that they have this artistic background is going to strength, strengthen what they do as a scientist. And even the merging of visual art with science, I know there's a high demand for a scientist that can draw and that can explain all of those things in a visual way. And so it's like, if they have this strong background that we've been able to cultivate for them, how it's gonna per it's gonna meld really well with whatever they do in life. Because I think art is such a big part of anything that we do, whether you're just even presenting like a presentation to someone, if they can create an interesting PowerPoint, whether it has to do with art or not, they understand color theory and spacing and composition and all of that. And so to present themselves in a professional way, we've at least been able to prepare them for that. All right. Thanks.